Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons & Dragons, The Temple of Elemental Evil. In our last video, we finished up in Hamlet. We finally did. I mean, there, there is one more quest to do here involving finding a cure for Amy. I did a little research on how to complete that, and it is going to involve... It's going to involve... We can't check the world map in here. Okay. We need to. We have got to travel back and forth between Hamlet and Nulb repeatedly, trying to uh, get into a random encounter on a particular swamp map, because that swamp map will have the swamp lotus on it, supposedly. So, when we're ready to leave here, I will uh, pause the game and do that for as long as it takes. Go back and forth and back and forth and, you know, loot whatever, whatever looks like it's worth looting and, you know, grind some experience. It's not such a bad thing as long as the experience is halfway decent because we do need to, I, if nothing else, I want to get Teak to level 12. That's, that's the most important thing to me because... Oh boy, that may not happen. <laughs> I may make that happen later. That may just be a horrible grind fest that happens before, before we start getting into the really difficult battles, which are coming up. But I want her to have precise shot. Yeah. So anyway, let's go back in here. As you wish. Uh, it's neither Bernie nor Priscilla. Priscilla. What a name! Who uh, who have the scrolls, the wizardy scrolls? They're down here. Yes. Apparently, there's a there's an assistant. Hello, vendor. So let's uh, let's see here. There's a lot of scrolls, and what I want to do is I want to buy the ones that uh, Rolana does not know. Oh, this is going to be a thing, isn't it? Um. Well, the best way to figure that out is... <laughs> oh, boy. Well, we'll just... You know, and if we accidentally buy one, we accidentally buy one. She doesn't know Blur. So if I right-click this, does it purchase it? Nope. Left-click? Nope. We have to drag it over to the inventory. Can I just drag it to the uh, the backpack there? I can. That works. Okay, great. Uh, we need Blink. Looks like. Yeah. Not that she's really going to use these. We've, we've done a pretty good job of picking the spells that she wants to use, which is mostly Magic Missile and Fireball. But hey. Uh, Charm Monster. I don't know that she ever learned that one. Doesn't look like it. So guess what we're buying? Although, yeah, now her pack is full. What I'm going to do, you just saw the process. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy three at a time. And then we'll, we'll learn them and we'll, we'll move on. So I'm going to save and have her learn those. Done. Done. Yes. And they are all learned. And so now let's... I will pick the next... Not talking to the guard. No. I'll pick up the next three. One moment. Okay. Got our next three. Feeble Whatever minds. Whatever you say. Done. Fear. And chill touch. Very well. Oh boy. And now she will learn... Scroll of Invisibility Greater. Whatever you say. Invisibility. Whatever you say. And grease. Yes. Next. Didn't realize uh, I was recording. <laughs> Summon monster one. Done. Summon monster two. Done. See invisibility. Done. Next. And finally, we have True Strike right. and Rage. Done. That's it. 
So uh, if we take a look at her spell options now, it's not everything, but she has a, a pretty healthy spell book. Maybe she would have been better off as a sorcerer, given how, how much we concentrate certain spells. I mean, oh well. You know, even, even so, I don't think sorcerers can learn all the wizards, but well, actually maybe they can. I don't remember. Like if they're cut off, like if they, certain things are not options for them, I don't remember, but... As you wish! I'm okay with the wizard. I like being able to buy spells and just have them and be like, you know, I might need this later, so... Very well. May as well have it. That's... That's it for here. Oh, yeah. I, I had mentioned... In a uh, prior video... That uh, I noticed where the labor... Uh, not the labor camp. The labor camp is to the north of us right now, but the, the, the castle that is being built. For some reason, I just completely derped out and never came over here to see, like, oh, yeah, they do work during the day. Yeah, yeah. And you can always hear this ting, ting, ting over here, so... I don't know why I didn't figure it out, but here we are. So this is the, uh... This is the castle. Got a bunch of laborers, nondescript laborers. There's the foreman. We've spoken with him. He's not very nice. Yeah, so there's that. Um, at this point, I am going to go back and forth. Okay, ding, 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 ding. Yes, I'm going to go back and forth between Hamlet and Nulb until... That's Hemlock. <laughs> we don't need that. Until everybody's packs are full or until we get the, uh, the Swamp Lotus that we need. Going to be a lot of fun. So if I end up on that map, hopefully you know, hopefully we'll see me on that map next. All right, group. To Nulb we go, except not really. All right, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully we get it. Okay, we've been running around back and forth between the two towns for a while, and uh, this just occurred. We have a, a knight and uh, quite a few retainers. A large, mail-clad knight in a white surcoat calls out to you. Hail and well met, madam. Would you be Teak? Who would like to know? I am Lord Grundwell, a marshal of Furiandi. And these are my companions from that fine country, and from Valuna as well. And you are, madam? Yes, I am Teak. Pardon the expression, madam, but we've had a devil of a time in tracking you down. You don't stay put, do you? Well, no matter now. We've found you. Why are you seeking me, Lord Grundwell? We have been entrusted to reward you for the rescue of Prince Thrommel, who is currently in Mitric, chief city of Aluna, where he is pledging himself to her noble ladyship, Jolene of Aluna. Really? What kind of reward? I have been instructed to give each one of you the following items. A potion of cure serious wounds, a ring of protection plus one, and two thousand platinum pieces. Thank you, Lord Grundwell. Finally... To you alone, Teak, to show his infinite thanks, Prince Thrommel has asked me to give you the magic sword Scather, near twin to his own Fragargach. <laughs> May you use it well. You gasp. Lord Grundwell, this reward is beyond all expectation. I'm in awe. Thank you, thank you. You are most welcome, Lady Teak. All of Furiandi and Valuna honor you. He bows and departs. Okay, indeed. We have uh, Prince Thrommel's Magic Bastard Sword. That's kind of a big deal. Will do. I'm identifying it. <laughs> Guess I'm not. Okay. Let's try it. Yeah, let's try it out again. Scather. 
Oh my, this is a medium-sized metal sword that can be wielded with one or two hands, depending on proficiency. Scather is a magic bastard sword that is both anarchic and holy. If the wielder is non-evil, it never misses. Oh my goodness. And adds plus four to damage, which doubles to plus eight if the target is evil and the wielder is chaotic neutral, chaotic good, or neutral good. Yes, we're all, we're, we are all, of course, thinking of good old Gorduk, who is chaotic neutral. For chaotic good wielders, it provides free unlimited attacks of opportunity against any opponent making a melee attack against the wielder. And chaotic neutral wielders get one such free attack of opportunity per round. So we don't get, we're not going to get the full, full benefit of it because we're not chaotic good. But chaotic neutral does uh, get a pretty good uh, honorable mention. So this is a plus four sword. It's plus four to hit, but I mean, it doesn't miss. So that's not quite relevant. 1d10 plus four. It's got the uh, 19 to 20 crit range. Double damage. I'm going to pass that over to old Gorduk here. Just going to take a look at it. We have to give one of these up. Probably the probably the long sword plus three, but let's let's think about that a little bit. Let's think about that. With this one, we're looking at a. This is just a plus one sword. Now the one d six fire damage is great. This is a one d eight plus three. You can do more damage with the Flaming Longsword, but, uh, wow. Well, either way, now the question is, do we want Scather as an offhand? And the reason I would say that is because if it doesn't miss, I mean, we've always got a, we, we've got a penalty to offhanded hits. Oh, you can't. What about if you put it here? Uh, I don't think this can be wielded in the offhand because it's a bastard sword. So, uh, so now we just pick which one of these. Because it's an offhand, we really need to make sure we're hitting. So that plus three to hit is good. We have a 1d8 plus three damage, 1d8 plus one damage, but then all the... 1d6 fire. I'm going to keep the longsword plus 3 around, but wait, what? Uh-uh, no. Nah. nah, we're specced into double... Come on, really? You going to do me like that? That's terrible. I'll put that in the offhand and then wear this. Okay, well, it said that uh, you could use it as a one-handed, but I guess there's a feat that we needed to take for that. We are not going to be using Scather. Because, yes, hitting every time is great, but hitting four times is greater, I would say. That's a shame. That is a darn shame. Oh, well. At least we made a bunch of money, right? Yeah. Yeah. That we did not need at all. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, yeah, I've been running back and forth between uh, Nulb and East Homlet. I've landed on the map, the random map that I want to, twice now. But the Swamp Lotus was not there. Which is not, uh, not encouraging. We'll see. Anyway, back to it. Okay, that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. This is the random map, random encounter map. And there's the Swamp Lotus. Go team! Now we just have to kill all of uh, Battle Lizard's cousins here. I'm kind of sad about that, but... Uh, this is the way it must be. Very well. Wow, that didn't 
kill all oh, yes it did. They're dead. Right away. They're dead. We'll let Ellie go uh, pick the flower. Yes, sir. Yoink. Gee, these look awfully similar. Oh, <laughs> So we save the game because random and uh, we're gonna head back to uh, South Homlet so we were running around for a few days there so we're gonna go take a nap yes sir we did cast a few spells let's go ahead and heal well not heal but cure rather as you wish Poor battle as you got kind of beat up there. Just a little bit. Okay. By the gods' will. And Gordon took a few knocks to the face. Yes. Problem solved. Rest for eight hours. Yes. And proceed. Right away. All right, let's go talk to Giroux. Oh yeah, and by the way, I mean, for the few battles we did have, I mean, I found... That's pretty much it. Uh, these magic potions were given to us by uh, Grundwald or whatever. For Prince Thrommel. Yeah, they're, they're really... We, we didn't... We just weren't out there for that long. I, I tell the party. They, they were going back and forth and back and forth. But uh, as for me, I didn't have to do it for very long, so I'm happy. Where's the grove? I've missed the grove. Oh, man, I've really missed the grove. Okay. Come on, guys. I messed up. I'm sorry. Overshot the grove. Talk to Jaru for what might be the last time. Because there's not really anything else here to do with At him. At your service. At least I don't think so. I might be wrong. Do the honors, Ellie. Welcome back to the Grove. Jaru, I have found the Swamp Lotus you were looking for. And we hand it over studies the delicate flower. Praises to Biori. The Great Mother has once again chosen to share her bounty. Uh, can you cure Amy now? No time for questions. I must work quickly. Drew uses a stone pestle and mortar to grind the flower into a fine dust. Wait. Now to brew the dust into a tea. Drew begins to brew tea in a jade teapot that has been carved into the shape of an owl bear. That teapot is quite interesting looking. Oh boy. Ah yes, this was a gift from a friend, my mentor actually. I'm quite fond of it. Too often we forget that all creatures share Earth's gift, even the heinous owl bear. It is important that we do not lose sight of the balance. It is so easy to view the world in black and white, good and evil. Life is, after all, the greatest gift. All creatures have that in common. Well, Ellie is true neutral, so uh, if she's the one... Sp <laughs> Life is cheap, Drew. A strong survivor and a weak guy. That is a very... That, that's, uh, that would be Gorduk. Uh, that would be his answer. But uh, no, we're, we're Ellie, we're a druid, we're true neutral. And so we would say, your mentor is a wise man, Jeru. It is ready. Here, Amy, drink this. Amy trembles as she takes the steaming tea from Jeru. 
and we wait. It is done. There is nothing more we can do. Wait, yes, I can sense a change. Amy, your life energy seems much stronger. It appears to be working. Run home, girl. Your parents will be overjoyed to see you again. Rejoice in the gift of life. Thank you, Eliwyn. You've done a great service today. May Biori watch over you as you have watched over Amy. Good day to you. And that is that. I would love to loot Jeru's chest over there, but... By the gods, will. They're not gonna do that. All right. It is uh, time to scoot on up to, to Nob for realsies. And not, not do that. Oh boy. Home sweet home? Well, we know we need to go dump some stuff uh, in the chest back in, back in here. And actually, come to think of it, you know what we really need to do? We need to grab the components for dealing with the Orb of Golden Death. That will require a mere fraction of my power. Battle Lizard's not too happy with us ever since we killed all his cousins, but... Yes. Yes. It had to be done. All right. Done. Let's go rummaging around in our... Anyway, yeah, there we go. So we got... Holy water. We have a scroll of Fireball. The Masterwork Mall. That, that counts as the granite mall that they were talking about. Uh, while we're here, I'm going to throw this magic dust in here because I have no clue what that's for. We're going to take the Masterwork Mall. She's probably going to complain about how heavy it is. No, you didn't. Good for you. And the Scroll of Gust of Wind. Um, I think she could just make that herself. We'll just describe that. Unfortunately, it's going to frickin' cost experience points, which is rather heinous in my opinion, but uh, okay. And let's drop off this stuff. We're not going to be wearing Senshock's robe. I, I know it's got uh, uh, yeah, spell resistance. 15 spell resistance. I mean, that's that is awesome. But this thing is so hideous. I really like her blue getup, so we're going to keep that because she's not getting a lot of spells cast on her anyway. We're going to give up uh, Lareth's Freedom of Movement ring. Uh, let's see, what else? We really don't need to be carrying around Kelno's Vial of Unholy Water or Bell Sorning's Poison Vial. I get the impression that uh, carrying around a poison just isn't really doing us much good either. These magic rings here, uh, I tossed all of them over to... Uh, to Teak, which is peculiar. I mean, the guy told us these are Ring of Protection plus one, and yet... Oh, I don't know what this is. Same with the potions. He's like, these are cure serious wounds. Gee, thanks, what is this? <laughs> so, we have to get those examined as well. Hemlock, huh? I'm just gonna throw that in the chest, whatever. Anything else we don't understand? I'm probably also going to chuck some of these potions in the chest because they're not going to get used. Anything else? Anything else? Well, this is this is sad. I'm I'm really not happy about this. But uh, you know, maybe maybe. If we do reach level 12, which, honestly, it is starting to look like we will not due to the fact that we're at uh, basically 57,000 experience and we would need 66,000. I just... Uh-uh. That's a lot of grinding. Maybe I'll do that, but seriously, that is a lot of grinding. Wow. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, right, look at all those. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Maybe there's a there's a uh, another version 
I guess, or another release of the Circle of Eight mod pack that has new content in it. You get to go up to uh, Verbabonk, which I guess is in the northwest. I mean, they just created all this, just added it. Because Troika didn't make it. It wasn't in the original release of the game. And perhaps what you do up there will yield more experience and maybe you can eventually reach level 20 in a reasonable amount of time and effort. But um, for this Let's Play, I, I, I'm not planning to do that. That doesn't mean I won't do it later. But uh, yeah, right now I really have no plans to do that. Anyway, all that to say, Scather is going in the chest because... Unless we can get to level 12 and get a feat for Gorduk so that he can wield a bastard sword in one hand, I, it's really just of no use to us. And Frostbrand, we talked about that. We're keeping that because it's got a cool name and everything. It's a unique weapon. And Lareth's plate boots, they'll go in here too. Why not? Uh, we are going to hang on to that. We need to identify all those. I'll do that momentarily. This tattered piece of paper, you know, we need to go deliver. Is that um, is that the, the note from... Yeah, that's Zaxxus' sister. We'll go show that to him. He's in a, in a special place. I think we've talked about that previously, too. He's in a, uh, a whorehouse. Just hanging out. So we'll, we'll venture in there and say hello. Yeah, um, let's actually have her scribe that scroll right now. Which, right there. Very well. We need gust of wind. Oh, that's only gonna cost six experience. Excellent. I'm guessing that means it was done. It was! And so this is how you uh, severely hamper the Orb of Golden Death. Or destroy it, rather. We've got Gust of Wind, Fireball, some Holy Water, and a Masterwork Mole. And the Orb itself, of course. So we will be delivering that to Pashella. So yes, we are going back to Hamlet once more. That may not be the last time itself, but uh, we are going there. So I'm just checking real quick to make sure we have placed everything in that chest that we want to. In fact, I'm going to identify these and then sort through a lot of these potions and you know, kind of make the decision like, are we really going to use this? So one moment please while I take care of that. Alright. Well, as we were told, these are all rings of protection plus one. They are of no use to us at this point. And these are all potions of cure serious wounds, as we were also told. And we've got a couple Cure Light Wounds. I don't know. I think we're going to start selling uh, Cure Moderate as well. No real reason to carry that stuff around. Uh, let's go ahead and have some fun. This is not doing us any good, really. So uh, let's, uh, let's use it. Do we have to do that from the inventory, perhaps? I bet we do. Oh yeah, she's used up all her spells. Potions. Reduce person. Right away. Oh, so you could use it on somebody else, huh? I wonder if you can use it on an enemy. And for that reason, I am not going to get rid of it right now because I don't know. And that that could actually be helpful. Hmm. Well. Either way, I'm still going to sort through the rest of these because we've got our routine and I can't really see what I'll do is I'll put potions in this one. We haven't used it at all. Yes, sir. So yeah, we'll put potions that we might want. Scrolls, potions, and stuff in there. One moment. Okay. So, it's time to make the hard choices, right? Um, Rolana is going to hold on to these potions of enlarge person and reduce person just in case we want to have this crazy big person party and maybe try to reduce enemies or something. We'll, we'll see. She's going to hold on to all these ridiculous Cure Serious Wounds potions. We've got 40 of them. That's cool. And she can hold on to a spare potion of heal. You never know. 
These are the uh, quest items, as, as discussed earlier, for dealing with the Orb of Golden Death. Still got that tattered piece of paper. We'll go talk to Zaxxus about that. Teak is uh, no longer carrying too much stuff. Um, I'll look and see if we even need that unicorn ring or even the gnome ring. I, I don't think we need either of them anymore at this point, but it's not really hurting anything, so we'll just carry them around. Um, as for Ellie, I'm actually going to sell all six of, well, seven of these scrolls right here because they're just heals and neutralize poison. It, it just doesn't seem... We've got that under control, I believe, and if we don't, we have two scrolls of heal right here. So she could just bust those out if she had to. In fact, could she even cast those? Can you cast... Can you use the, the heal scroll? She can. Which makes me think she ought to know heal. Just like, uh... Just like Callus does. Is that sixth level for you? I don't see it. It's not there. I don't know when, uh... When druids learn that, but I... It must be a bit later for them. Because she can't learn scrolls or anything. So, oh well. And that's why she's going to hang on to it. Because she could cast it. She just can't... Uh, she can cast it from the scroll. But she can't cast it from her... She can't memorize it. Let's see what... Callus is... I'm just going to carry these two flame strike scrolls. Because what if we needed to... Shoot out a couple spells. And Callus is too far away. And he can't waddle all the way over to the enemy on time. You, know, you never know. It can happen. And all Gordic is going to carry around is this uh, Steel Shield plus two in case he needs to sword and board for some reason. All the rest of these items, we're going to go sell. As you wish. Oh, and okay. uh, I forgot. Yes. All that leaves for the uh, chest here. I Well, no, maybe I did talk about that. I, I don't think any of these are going to get used. Just potions for protection and a few weird... Scroll of Prayer, you know what? We're selling that. That's that's very silly. Okay, I guess Gordic is... Oh, this is Gordic. Okay. We'll sell that and uh, raise dead. We can do that now, and we don't want to anyway. And uh, Discern Lies. I think that's a cleric spell that if we really wanted, we could... Uh, we could just memorize it for the night and... Uh, And use it. Right? Discern lies. Discern lies. I'm not seeing it, but it's also pretty late. Ah, there it is. So we are going to sell that too. Because, meh. What am I doing? There we go. So we're going to sell that. We're just going to hang on to these. Because who knows? I certainly don't. I'm off. I have no idea. So yeah, it took a while, but uh, we got to the point of having a, a nice clean, mostly clean inventory. We're still carting around some garbage. But it is an RPG, and so there's going to be some level of that. Very well. So let's unload all the vendor trash. Here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. How much are these each? 610 gold. Yeah. Well, thanks anyway, Thrommel's men. These potions of haste. Um, Teak has that covered. She really does have haste covered, so I don't feel bad. And bull strength. Really, the only people that are going to need it would be Gorduk and maybe Callus. So it, it's mostly Gorduk, and he's got that covered. Cure moderate wounds potions, we're not using them. I'll put these in the chest later. Potion of invisibility, don't need it. Scroll of prayer, scroll of raise dead, scroll of discern lies. I know Ellie is carrying some scrolls. Critical wounds, minor wounds, moderate wounds, light wounds, serious wounds, and neutralized poison. But we've got potions for that. We'll just keep the potions. 
that's it. I think that is all we are selling. So yeah, I'm gonna go throw that in the. Uh, of course. Throw that in the chest, and that will be it for this video. In the next video, I think we have done enough messing around with quests and towns and inventory and this and that and the other. It's time to go get more trouble in the Temple of Elemental By Evil. the God's will. Callus sounds excited. That will require a mere fraction of my power. So does Gorduk. Everybody's rearing to go. They're, they're about as excited about all this stuff as anybody. So we'll take a quick nap. Yep. And in the next video, we will proceed back to the Temple of Elemental Evil and get our hands dirty once again. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.